The Today Manufacturing Podcast offers a powerful and unique perspective on the biggest stories impacting U.S. manufacturers. Anna Wells, David Manti, and Jeff Ranke apply their experience as editors of industry-leading brands Manufacturing.net and Industrial Equipment News in providing in-depth analysis of the latest headlines. Their insight, along with a mix of humor and human interest, makes Today in Manufacturing a go-to source. Keep pace with supply chain challenges, electric vehicle developments, labor struggles, robotics, and more by listening, downloading, and subscribing to the Today in Manufacturing podcast. Boat crashes can happen for any number of reasons. Sometimes it's a missed rock on the charts. Other times a failed propeller blade is to blame. Sometimes the whole ship sinks because of an autopilot mishap. Or it could be as simple as falling asleep at the wheel. According to new findings released by the National Transportation Safety Board, sleepiness was indeed the culprit in a 2023 towing vessel crash that ended up causing about $6 million in damages. A deckhand aboard the Cindy B was at the helm on November 12, 2023, as the towing vessel pushed the deck barge St. John up the Columbia River north of Portland, Oregon. According to the report, the deckhand fell asleep at the end of his scheduled night watch, which started at midnight and ended at 6 a.m., and the vessel drifted out of the channel and struck a dock. None of the crew members on board the Sydney B were hurt, but the crash did cause millions in damages to the St. John and the dock. Falling asleep at the helm was the primary cause for the crash, but as the NTSB report points out, there were contributing factors. The agency said the deckhand was at a low point in his circadian rhythm and had just transitioned from day to night watches, which changed his awake-slash-sleep cycle. In addition, the pilot house alert in the Cindy B failed to wake the deckhand at the helm since a swinging radio microphone was in the motion sensor's field of view, essentially tricking the system's motion detectors into thinking the pilot was awake and causing it to reset its timers. Working the night shift obviously comes with increased risk for zoning out or falling asleep, but as the NTSB report points out, research on shift workers has shown that there is a greater chance of incidents during the first two nights of a night shift period. I'm Ben Munson, and this is Manufacturing Now.